If skateboarding wasn't painful, oh. it wouldn't be fun. This is Wood Pushers. I love the freedom that skateboarding gives you. You can make it whatever you want to make it. I like the feeling of pure excitement you get when you finally land that trick you've been trying for ages. My name's Isaac Crawford, and I've been skating since the age of 11. In this series, we follow young skateboarders across the UK to hear about their experiences and relive their stories. We come to Winchester to talk to Henry and his filmer Nink about their skateboarding experiences and what it's been like to be a skateboarder in Winchester. I've known Henry since we were primary school. So yeah, we've always loved skating together. I'm Nink, I've been filming skateboarding for about two years now. I just love this sport. It makes me, it makes me happy and it just releases all the stress when I'm here. In the past years, Nink was a tearaway on the streets of Basingstoke, but now with the help of filming, he's managed to turn his life around. How did you start filming and what did you like about it? Well, basically, I was out in a skate park one day and I see one of the guys filming and I thought I was just going to start filming skateboarding. What are you currently working on right now? Um, I've been going out to Southampton for a couple of weeks now. I'm hoping to make a short documentary in the coming weeks. We met up with Winchester skateboarder Henry House to find out about his experiences of skateboarding. I love skating mostly because it's just better than being like sat inside all day doing nothing, just like better next to and that. How long have you been skateboarding for? Three years. Why did you start skateboarding? Winchester's really boring, it's just something to do. What advice would you give someone who's just started skating? You stick at it, like keep some practice, like keep them practicing and that. With the new skate park in Winchester, thousands of locals are picking up their boards and starting to shred. Even though skateboarding has become more and more popular in Winchester, it's being banned in more public places than ever before. We spoke to Nink and Henry again to talk about how skateboarding is misrepresented in the local community. Well, like a lot of pro skateboarders, like they're kind of making their own companies and charities and stuff to show that skateboarding is like not all bad. Like it can be a good thing. It's just like the way you perceive it like, changes the skateboarding's image. Skateboarding is often seen as a criminal act the police and security often dealing with skateboarders. What kind of response do you get from your videos? Well, a lot of the young people, they rate my videos, they like them all the time, and I think I encourage people to take up skateboarding. I don't see how I can make it for you, I've seen as a criminal. Is there a particular reason why the security guys get to it? Um, like, usually it's just because of like, noise and stuff, it's like skateboarding is like, quite loud. Have you gotten into any serious trouble with it? Um, well, once when I skateboard with Nick, um, we got like, arrested for vandalism and we hadn't even done <laughs> wrong. So, like, it's a bit out of order first. Skateboarding has become more and more of a pop culture. With the rise of magazines such as Frasher and Sidewalk, more and more teens are picking up their boards and shredding parks just like this. 